you assumed they were going to hire Joe I Judge thought, all along. I thought, that, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> did, did anybody call that? Nobody. No nobody, one called it. Was his name? I never read his name anywhere. Other than the fact that they interviewed him. That was all. Oh, he, he was interviewed. Yes, okay. Right. I, I don't even think I well, read that. Yeah. But he wasn't one of, like, the top four or five names that we no. read about. Well, this is eerily similar to Daniel Jones. Like, nobody heard anything about Jones yeah. until we got closer to the draft. And nobody heard about Judge until it seemed like everybody else didn't want the job. Maybe maybe this will go the way of Jones, right? They seem to like this unknown shock the world, and hopefully it'll work out. How did you feel about Jones this year? Did you like him? I did. And I, and I wanted to see how it was going to play out. I mean, they know more about drafting quarterbacks than I did, and just because he no, wasn't a popular no, no, selection. They, no, they don't. Yeah. They really don't. <laughs> I, I mean, when you think about the fact that um, Bill Polian wanted to make Lamar Jackson a, a wide receiver, mm -hmm. it's, it's, what, what does anybody know? They don't know anything. Now, you're a big Jet fan. What do you think about Darnold? How did he look this year other than the mono? I stopped watching after... They were two and seven. Wow. Really? You made a decision. Well, I, I golf on Sunday, so I, I have to. First of all, I, I, I tape the games. Okay. And then I would come back after golf, and I would go through one of those days. Where, oh, no, no, don't tell me the score. No score. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, then I would go home and I'd watch, and, if, if, you know, nothing surprised me at all. Now, uh, I, I didn't even know this. I found this out today, but you are actually a, a part of the Jets hierarchy. And I'll, I'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about. Mike Tannenbaum was on with our 10 to 1 show today. And when he got hired as the GM of the Jets, you don't even know this, Peter. This is what he said about an interaction with Larry David. 2006, my first year as general manager, about five days before the draft, phone rings. My assistant comes in and says, Larry David's on the phone. I'm like, get out of here. Larry David's on the phone. Larry David's on the phone for you. Pick it up. Mike, this is Larry. you got to draft Reggie Bush. You have to draft him. So, long story short, we had a great conversation. I'm like, you know, Larry, we'd love to send you some, you know, some Jet stuff. And, uh, you know, what size are you? And he, and he, like, puts me on hold, covers up the phone. He's like, Dolores, what size am I? Am I large? Am I, like, totally in character. Uh, That's crazy. Long story short, we, we hit it off. We go out there. We spend the day with him. And he is one of these guys that literally will drive a Toyota Prius to his private plane. And we're leaving him. And we're like, you know, Larry, what are you doing tonight? He's like, you know, I got invited to a bowling party, but I hate the shoes. The shoes, they're dirty. Other people wear them. Like, he was totally, his life is his character. He was as authentic as you could be, and he's a huge Jets fan. So when he's on today, make sure you ask him about what, you know, his thoughts are on Coach Gase and uh, Sam Darnold. All right, so first of all, they didn't listen to you about Bush. You, no, they didn't. Sad. <laughs> Very sad. Second no, that all. was a good draft for them, by the way. Ferguson, uh, Brickishaw, uh -huh. Ferguson, and... Uh, Nick Mangold, yeah. Now, have you had that. any Joe Douglas interaction? Have you called the Joe no, Douglas? No. no, I haven't reached out to Joe. You should. <laughs> He's tremendous. Yeah, but I did. I did call Mike McCagnan before the 2018 draft, and I, I recommended that he draft Lamar Jackson. I have a witness. Really? Yes, I have a witness. And what did he call. say to you when you said that? He kind of gave me the most condescending. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you yeah, actually yeah, told him that? Yeah, I told him that, and he, he kind of la he laughed at me, but... Who can blame him? Nobody thought uh, Jackson was going to be Except good. for the Ravens. Except for the Ravens. Yeah, but, so yeah. what are your thoughts on Gase? I can't, I can't take the hat. <laughs> He's, I can't take a coach wearing a hat constantly. He tells me that there's something about him. He's not comfortable with himself. Because I, I, when I started doing stand-up, I wasn't comfortable, and I started putting a hat on because it, I, it was, gave me like a different persona, a different character, because I was hiding. That's what he's doing. He's hiding. Either he's hiding baldness or there's something about his personality that oh. he's uncomfortable with. But you, you can't trust a man who wears a hat. He's got to take the hat off. He's got to face the public. <laughs> He's got to be out there. Get rid of the hat. Well, but he has it so close to his eyes, I think he's trying to hide the yeah, eyes. Yeah, you know the eyes. I mean, we, we play this whenever we talk about him, thanks to you. Yeah. All right, crazy ass killer. All right, crazy ass killer. Like that's, he's crazy ass killer. We think he's covering the eyes because he got ripped in his uh, initial press conference. Yeah. Remember I, the fall on the taco? Yeah, remember that I remember. Meme? I remember, yeah. You see yeah. memes? Do memes make it to you? I, occasionally I see them, yeah. yeah. When they play the curb music, is that what you're talking yes, about? Yes, yeah, those yeah. are big ones. Yeah, yeah the... right. Now, Larry uh, David is here because uh, tonight, the first episode of the 10th season of Curb Your Enthusiasm is going to be shown at a sold-out event at the 92nd Street Y. And I'm lucky enough that I'm going to do a Q&A with Larry at the, at the event. 
Uh, I, I was looking up some stuff today to talk about with you. Do you realize it's 20 years? Yeah. That's uh, unbelievable. Ten, ten seasons took 20 years. But it took five years between seasons eight and nine. That's a good boss that said, yeah, take your yeah. time. <laughs> right. I, gotta, I have to admit, other than you guys, I have a pretty good job. But nobody can beat this job that you have. <laughs> this, this job, this is, this is, as the kids say, sick. <laughs> you know? I mean, this is insane. You come here, you talk about sports. It's crazy. It's crazy. You would do this job? In a second. Really? Yeah. There's a boss in there. He yeah. would hire you in yeah, a second. Yeah, GM, the GM's waiting right there. <laughs> that Gentile man right oh, there, yeah, Tim nice. McCarthy. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, this is Peter. You, you really lucked out with this. Uh, right? Yeah. I know. I, they threw me in uh, here four years ago. Yeah. It's been... Uh, I, I don't know how the hell you pulled this off. Oh, thank this you. is fantastic. Thank you. I, I got to tell, tell you, I, I admire your job. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.